Hey guys, Rick for Solens here, back in our video. In this video, we're gonna be remaking the stack out sets Armor Mines by Diplo and Sidepiece. So, the final result will sound like this. So, all the presets are coming from the new pack Dirty Tag Volume 1. The preset pack is literally all you need to make tag outs. It includes drum loops, kicks, claps, hi hats, and over 60 presets in the style of music. So, if you wanna make tag outs, it's a must to check it out. So now let's dive into the remake. First we're gonna make the drums, then the bass, and then the lead sound. So let's dive into it. So now let's dive into the drums. Actually they are fairly simple. So we're gonna start off with this kick drum. Sound like this. With a clap. It's got a nano name kind of style clap. Then we have the open hi-hats. Sound like this. We have the right sample. And every second hi-hat. We have this groove hats thingy. Which will really give it some more growth. And then the last thing we have is the percussion fill. Sound like this. So there are basically two percussion hits with a lot of reverb and delay. So all together the drums will sound like this. So now we're gonna dive in the bass line, sounding like this. So it's like a preset. We're gonna be making it from scratch. I'm gonna use the basic shapes with the square wave, filter it, lower down to octaves, now I'm gonna lower down the cutoff with a low 18, drive around here, some fatness, a little bit of resonance, now I'm gonna run F-Lap 2 to the cutoff, just a little bit to, just to give some more punch, so we'll be lowering down the sustain. Just like this. And we're gonna add some more release. And we're gonna add some more release. So that's for the oscillator. So now let's dive in effects. First, a small amount of hyper dimension. Just some dimension. Just to open up the bass a little bit more. Now we're gonna add a chorus effect. Just. What it makes just around here. Now we're gonna compress it just to control the bass down a little bit more. We're gonna put up a gain a little bit and drag the threshold just a little bit back. It's a bit too much gain right now, so lower it down. Now we're gonna add a phaser effect to it. And the frequency just around here. It's a bit too much, so mix it in. Just like this. And then we're gonna bump up the low end a little bit with EQ and flip 2 to the gain. We're gonna lower down the master volume just a little bit because it's clipping right now. And we're gonna distort the sound with a tube distortion. Just add some more harmonics to the high end. We're gonna mix it in, so just around here. And let's have the bass line, so with the drums, it will sound like this. So the only thing that's left to make is the lead sound. Let's dive into it. So now let's dive into the lead sound. It's a typical saw lead during a lot of Tech House tracks, which became popular by Fisher. So now I'm gonna show you how to make it in Serum. So we're gonna start off with two heavily detuned saw waves. We put on a fine tune of Aslatter B a little bit, just to add some more detunement. And that's basically it for us later, so for that fact we add a hyperdimension. Some tube distortion. We'll be opening it up with an OTT, that's where we add some more heist to it. Just a low cut to, to get rid of the low end because we have bass now for that. Chorus effect, just to make it move a little bit more. And some reverb and delay. So it's actually that simple. Besides that, we have a pitch automation. Sounding like this, it really adds some more energy to the sound. So altogether, the Amma Mind remake will sound like this. And that's it for the video. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.